the song you in a group um you in the actual punta rock group because you always been doing the culture thing you yeah. know with your dad and stuff like yeah. that but then you get the you also get an opportunity to work with aurelio martinez and not just locally but it's just like you know i, yes. I remember you guys were touring and you know i was leaving the country and you know doing a whole bunch of other things <clears throat> so how did that like first start like how did aurelio contact you to be on tour with him and all yeah. of those things well, before the tour, I'm gonna go way back to before mm -hmm. the tour. Be before the tour, um, I was 15. Okay, I was 15. I remember the first show, cause basically, I really would always call my pops to ask him, oh, but I'm a cupo, una un maraquista. Oh, mi hijo no puede tocar. Es menor de edad, pero él toca muy bien. Es mi hijo. Yeah, that's more of my pops. <laughs> so. Um, the first gig we had, I had with them, it was Carlos Pichi Castillo. It was, he had a great, great man. Mm -hmm. Chichi Mang, my pops. Mm -hmm. Mike from Ibanya Maras, I believe. So, the first show I had with them was United Nations. Okay. We opened up for Morgan Heritage. Wow. Yeah, I remember. I was, Yo. I was nervous. First show, I was like, damn. Even, um, I read it, told me after the show, Iván Durán dijo que estás muy tímido, estás muy, muy nervioso. Mm -hmm. I'm like, tío, mi primera vez en un escenario así, you know. You know. Yeah. Tengo, pero, no, pero está muy bien, pero trata wow. de ser más suerte, yeah. Oh, wow. So <laughs> yeah. you played with Morgan Heritage. Yeah, yeah. How was that experience? It was great. Those guys are humble, man. Wow. They really humble. Great people. Mr. Peter Morgan, mm -hmm. Gramps, all of them are. So you hear these names, you met these people. Yeah, I met that, them, That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's they're great. really humble. Really okay. humble. Yeah. Nah, it was a wonderful. great experience. After that, two years later, we started touring. I started touring with Aurelio, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Yeah, he actually built that bond with me. He would sit down with me with his guitar. We would harmonize together. Because mm -hmm. he didn't know that I knew how to harmonize. But during that time, I was practicing with you mm -hmm. and Jovi. Okay. Harmony. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the venues that y'all used to play in, what were those venues like? Because I know a lot of those events aren't like, you know, the typical parties in the club. Yeah. Yeah. Those venues, we played in uh, Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. We played in one of the venues in Chicago. Okay. We've been to a few places. That, yeah. Australia, one of the biggest festivals. Okay. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was the main question. Now, yeah, yeah, I played at a lot of like outdoor events and like yeah. festivals and stuff like that. Yeah, those festivals they had like twenty different stages in one whole park. Oh wow! It's like Central Park. You will see. Okay. The same concept. Now, how's that experience seeing other musicians and groups doing the same thing yeah, that y'all yeah. doing, but yeah. just of course on their own level and you know for their crowd and stuff like that. How yeah. was it like, you know, being exposed to that? That's almost like a Garifuna music workshop or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was interesting because you see people from all over the world and you realize how big this world is. Like, mm -hmm. It's the mundo's grande. Like you, I met a band. It's three of them. Mm -hmm. they, they from South Africa, the mm -hmm. soil. Okay. It's one guy doing the whole beat by himself and the bass. This lady's harmonizing, singing. And this other guy is just singing with her. Oh, wow. And they sound like a full band. Yeah, the soil. Wow. They actually inspired me a lot. Mm -hmm. with, we go, yeah, we, they inspired me in certain ways mm -hmm. that got me here today. That's musically, what's up. Musically, yeah. That's what's up. I got to check them out. The soil. <laughs> yeah, the that's, soil. That's cool. Hey, so how... Uh, all right, also... Um, the pay rate we're out in there. And you know why I asked that? Because it's not nobody's business how much we make. But you know what? We are musicians. Mm -hmm. And we do always want to better things. Because, you know, we used to go through this thing where we had the $40 a night. And then if it wasn't 40 it was 60 Then it became 80 And then 100 on those big nights where we got to do those backups and yeah. stuff like that. So how was the how was the pay rate with Aurelio being the fact that you guys are doing cultural and just different things because of the venues that y'all are performing in? Uh, the pay rate was good. Um, mm -hmm. It was worth it for me to call out of work to go with Aurelio somewhere. Wow. Like, I would actually remake the money that I could have made at work. To Look be honest, mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. It's not bad. It's Arvillo and his management, they are really responsible people. They make oh, okay. sure. Okay, so before, he has a management team. Yeah. He okay. Does. They okay. from different 
different country. It's a, it's, it's a whole thing he got going on. Before you, got, before you get on the plane, mm-hmm. you get your per diem and you get your pay for the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Before getting on the before plane. Before getting on the plane. Look at that. Yeah, you have your boarding pass. Mm-hmm. You look at your Zelle account like, oh, snap. Okay. Wow. Deal. Inter- <laughs> <laughs> that is so interesting. Yeah. That's so interesting. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to ask, too, about the Aurelio Torres, the hotels y'all would stay in, were they like four star or like five star? Like, how was it? <laughs> Next level. Yeah, because he has a management team now yeah. that you told me. Yeah. And stuff <laughs> like that. So it's just like, I can imagine the hotels. I'm not y'all lie. staying in. It's one hotel in Canada. Mm-hmm. The ceiling. Oh, wow. High. Like, when I say high, bro, mm-hmm. you think the sky is like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's yeah. interesting. It's that's really interesting. interesting. Yeah. Those questions are important, too, because you yeah. know the kind of hotels they like to put us in sometimes. And I'm not going to lie. Um, mm-hmm. Traveling with the regular, it made me realize how. A lot of Gadif and the artists and bands, we all have to value ourselves more because there's there's a lot of sponsors out there, you know, yeah. that could actually help us out in these kind of stuff. It takes a lot it takes a lot of research and work, but it's possible, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really possible. Man. Exactly. It's no, really that's possible. dope. That's yeah. dope. <laughs> Luma negi bana tu mama